Hey guys, welcome back. Recently, I uploaded a video on how to install a rain collection system. The plan for that was to feed that down to a new garden irrigation system 350 feet into the woods where our garden is located. And so using the system with the rainwater and the solar powered irrigation that I'm gonna be setting up, there's gonna be no cost once this is installed. Everything's gonna be free. I'll use the rainwater, not running up our water bill or our power to run a pump down there. My goal is to also make this self-sustaining. This could easily be applied to homesteading or an off the grid situation. This is perfect for what we have here. It might be a good option for you as well. So to get started, I have about 400 feet of underground water line here that I'm going to just run across the top of the ground for now so that I can hook everything up sort of as a proof of concept, make sure everything works before renting a trencher and burying this line about a foot into the ground all the way down through the woods to where my water source will be down there. So these fittings and hoses are pretty easy to install. It's a hard plastic so it won't compress when you bury it underground. You'll just put the fittings in and they have rings that you clamp down into place to seal it so that it doesn't fall apart or leak. When I purchased these hoses, there were two different grades. One had a much higher PSI rating and because this is just gravity feeding it down here, the cheaper lower PSI rating was perfectly fine. All right, so I've emptied out the other tote all the way up there at the house, ran this line through the woods, and it's all mostly downhill too, so it worked really well. So after I set this down and filled it up, I realized this is actually pointed in the wrong direction. The valve is on the opposite side of the garden. That's not gonna be a problem. I will just set everything up and test it out, make sure everything works, and empty this with the sprinklers. Once it's empty, I'll move it over there and make sure everything's set up permanently right over here while I want it. Okay, so similar setup over here. This one's gonna have the same adapter to three quarter inch pipe. I'll do a T, split it off. One will come up here with a valve so you can fill up buckets if you want to. And then another one will go over here with a valve to the to the pump so we can pump over to the sprinklers. So this is basically the same setup as what I used for the top tank for the rain collection system. If you wanna see more information about that, go check out that video. I'll leave the link right here on the screen. But for that special adapter for these tanks, they have several different types. I purchased this on Amazon. I'll leave the link down in the description below. You can go on there, see which type you need for your tank and purchase it. It's a very specific thread and no places around where I live, I could find anything with that exact thread. Thread. So you need something to change that diameter down to something more usable. All right, so for the equipment on this, I'm gonna be using this solar panel. It's been working great for several months. No complaints so far. I'll leave the link on the screen as well as in the description of this video. Now this solar panel is really cool because it comes with a charger as well. So you can hook it up to a 12 volt car battery, which I'm gonna be doing, and it will trickle charge that battery, shut off when it's full. So that it will just maintain the full charge for whenever you need to use it. And then I'm gonna be using this 12 volt battery pump. This works great, just uses a 12 volt battery and puts out a lot of water. So I'm gonna be hooking this up to the 12 volt battery. The solar panel will charge that battery whenever I'm not using it and maintaining the charge so I'll never have to remove the battery to charge it or run power down here to do so. And again, I'll leave links to all of this down in the description of the video so you can easily find it if you're interested. Now I'm gonna hook this up real quick and see how everything works. Again, I'm gonna change this up a little bit once I move the tank and have it in the place that I want it. And I'm gonna improve a few things when I do so. So 
So a few things I noticed right away, the pump's working great, but I'm not convinced that this sprinkler is the right option for what we're doing. And so I'm gonna test out a few different sprinklers to see what works best. Now I noticed this sprinkler here seems like it wastes a lot of water and I can't actually run two or three of these sprinklers off of one pump. So I'm gonna test out a few different types to see if I can get something that uses less water. So I watered the garden for about half an hour and I mainly just watered this top section, watered the bottom a little bit. So I'm thinking if I water both halves fully, I'll probably use close to half a tank and that will give me two watering cycles for every one tank that I get. And I have another tank up under the house collecting rainwater. I have a hose coming down filling this one up whenever we need to. Here's the sprinkler I landed on. It uses the least amount of water with the farthest reach so I can use multiple at one time with this pump. All right, so I've got three of these sprinklers, one on a pole here, one there, and then one there. They're all in a chain. And then I come down here with a hose. I'm gonna put a post right here in the woods where I can mount that hose spigot on. And then this black pipe, I'm gonna bury in the ground, probably about a foot, all the way over here to the water tank. And now I'm gonna turn on the water and see how the sprinklers do. So with three of these sprinklers, I can completely cover the entire garden. It does spray less water, so it doesn't water quite as fast. So with three of these running, I can run the pump for a half an hour, and that uses more than half a tank of water to water the entire area. So now that everything works, I'm gonna rent that trencher and bury that water line all the way down through the woods. Now this is a lot of work, this thing moves really slow and going through the woods was really tough with all the roots, but I was able to do it. So I'll speed this up so you guys don't have to wait around for that whole process to finish up. And with this camera angle, I will say it looks like my daughter gets really close to this machine, but it goes so slow and I was keeping an eye on her the whole time making sure she doesn't get near it. She didn't get that close, but in the camera angle, I will admit it looks like she was right up to it. All right, so I have the water line buried all the way down to the tank and then over to the sprinklers. I have the solar panel hooked up to this water tank here. And then inside this tote, I'm housing the battery and charger as well as the pump to keep rain off of it. And I've got quick disconnects so I can hook up the charger to the battery. And then when I'm ready to run the pump, I'll switch the pump to the battery and run everything. Another change I made was to add a hard plastic pipe over to the pump. I was using a garden hose and I noticed that completely collapsed at some point while the pump was running. It uses that much suction. So that hard plastic is definitely necessary. You don't want the water supply to cut off completely with this. Now this is a little tricky with one hand, but I'm gonna disconnect the charger from the battery and then I will hook up the pump to the battery and you can hear it kick on in just a second. Any minute now. Now on this end, I have the post in the ground with the water line running to it. One goes to the sprinkler. The other one is for filling up buckets if I need to water any bushes or trees that we have down here. Really easy to do so. Now I've got the sprinklers running. Everything seems to work great. Our corn is loving it down here and our garden's growing really well. All right, so that just about finishes up the video for today. Hope you guys enjoyed this one. I've got some more garden videos coming up real soon, so stay tuned for those. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not already, and help me out and hit that like button down below. A quick reminder, all the products that I use, I'll leave the links in the description so you guys can find those if you need them and want to do this system at your place as well. 
Thanks so much for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.